you know, the phone rings, you go into your marine mammal EMT hat and you just, you just gotta get out there. died. We don't really know why it died. At least we haven't uh, determined that yet. Part of our stranding agreement with the National Marine Fisheries Service is that we respond to every live and dead marine mammal that washes up on the beach. I get more of a thrill out of the live animals because releasing them is such a huge um, sense of accomplishment at the end of the day. You, know, you get to return these animals back to the wild. They, they mass strand because they're social and they stick together in a group for better or worse. And they're pelagic, they're offshore animals that don't usually come into tidal areas. And so I think sometimes people think that these animals throw themselves on shore. The reality is that they come into these little estuaries and the water just runs out from underneath them. The most rewarding situation was the mass stranding of animals we had last winter. Unfortunately, the conditions were very treacherous. We probably shouldn't have been able to do what we did. It was sheer willpower that got those dolphins out of that mud. Trying to extract these animals from Literally, cement is what it felt like. I was about six months pregnant at the time. And it's kind of mud where you sink up to your hips. So we basically made a bridge out to these animals across the mud. One, two, three. We've transported them in our trailers. We have two very large rescue trailers. While en route, we run a health assessment, and we're able to draw blood on the animals and do an analysis. So we can tell if these are healthy enough animals that we can release them. So that's our ultimate goal, is to do an immediate release. You also have to remember that this is an emotional roller coaster for people. There were animals, and it pained us to have to do that, but there were animals we just we had to leave there. If we end up trying to get that one, we may lose these two, and okay. they're viable right now. We know physiologically, we know that they're stressed. We've had a lot of strandings where we have mom-calf pairs. You take them and put the mom, put them basically head to head, lie them near each other, and they both calm down completely. So you know that there are, there's a lot going on there. You know, after all that, and this poor animal that had been through so much, and to make it so close. Yeah, animals die. It's hard to deal with. We don't have the power to save every single animal. But I will also say that every single death does take its toll on everybody. Certainly those animals would have suffered had we not been able to get out there, and it kills us that we weren't able to get to those other animals. Neither myself or the rest of my coworkers are, were gonna stop trying to pull that animal just because you know it was just kind of initially difficult. We were just so happy to be able to release that many animals yesterday. Oh. Getting in the water with them and then you know releasing them, it just really affirms why I do this. We don't know a lot about the, the species that we're trying to save. These are animals that are swimming in the ocean and we see just a glimpse of them as far as their whole life history and so trying to understand a little bit more about them is, is really what kind of drives me and keeps me going.